Oh, bow. All right. See, he was just waiting. He knew. Like, don't worry. I'll get like yeah. one of the best items for my hero. It's fine. Killing. Stupidly good on gyrocopter. <laughs> they they keep replanting this ward. It's a very good ward. The uh, the one that's like right below them right now, down there. Oh, initiation hustler might still be okay. In fact, now Kuku is on the overextended. X to both walks away from it. Silence follow on Cottle all oh, double it in. Raven still standing. It's only Kuku down. Hustle on the backside does get taken out by Carl. One for one so far. Going to try to pull the Dragon Knight back. Buyback now on the Cuckoo. I like the KYXY back in. Bring down Carl. Cuckoo taking a lot of damage. RR rolling this fight, but there's the dunk. Connects on four. It's Zephyr gone big. They pick up two. Can they finish more of these kills? It's a dieback on the Pugna. KYXY so much damage on that ulti. But it'll be over now, TP home. They saw Alacrity though with that ward. They might get another. My recap is even so far. Can Geek Fan get more? Alacrity close, can't finish off Raven. Oh, but he the does flare. get killed by Hustla. Beautiful flare. <laughs> wow, what a dunk. That, that was, was pretty sick. That was all Zephyr all day. Well, they needed that, that's for sure. I mean, they're still really far behind, but a uh, big moment like that. Try and redeem something after all the buybacks. Will it be enough will be the question, well, though. This gyro is still getting kind of scary. Ah, he's going for the... Was uh, uh, so this Thompson that did this? The defusal versus the, uh, the Bristleback at TI? And everyone was that like, fuck, sounds... this is so big brain. Sounds right, yeah, but so. it's crippling. Yeah, it's very good. So relies on man. Lotus coming up. I don't know what the item build for Bristle is. I think I think he does need Lotus. I agree with this. I don't know about the medallion though. I guess the medallion does uh, increase his damage output by a lot. And plus, there's actually not that much physical damage on the radiant side. It's like exorcism, and then when the gyro gets big, of course, then there'll be a lot more. But at least in the early parts of the game, the, the self-infliction isn't too bad. Station now, reality rift, pressing forward, will be dodged by Geek Fam. There's go Roche. I have DD, I have exorcism. Now, that's where your clockwork, you should flare the Roche pit. Right? You reveal yourself mid and play a rose, so you're checking as if they're in there. Ah, the extra big brain play. You don't even need to. With Exorcism, they kill it so quick. Roche falling very fast. Double damage on Gyrocopter 2. Oh, he's baiting. Geek Fam getting baited out indeed. Clockwork might go down for it, but it's been well worth it. Now they're going to find the Pugna. Cuckoo in trouble again. Phoenix bringing in the damage. He'll go down first. Aegis in the hands of Drew on the Gyrocopter. Bold TP not going to work from the Dragon Knight. Now Raven trying to get out, and he will. Looking for more targets. Dragon Knight finishing off Hustler. Not going to happen. He'll fall himself. Two for nil. Oh, Zephyr. Aegis. Oh, See what he tried? Right. He blinked and tried to TP. Uh, tried to blink Fisher, stop that TP. Another 1K going to wave Reality Rift. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Whitemon uh, going for the desperation play here. Gonna grab the creep wave. Marker has got him though. And yeah, they still got mid. Blinding light, not gonna be enough. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, but the mango tree got spotted. Oh no. This is also rough because it doesn't feel like Geek Fan really has a carry. Not since the like Bristle Dragon had a bad start. Gale's okay, Bristle can scale okay, but 10k behind at 22 minutes. It's, there's no Spectre factor. There's no Morphling where I can even cling to a... But the E-Blade! I don't... I don't see it. Lotus is fine for Raven, but it's not going to be that much of a game changer. There's Echo Slam. But, uh, yeah. I mean, they just had one incredible Echo Slam, and the game doesn't even feel like it's changed very much. Yeah. And for the Earthshaker, he's going to get a 4-staff next. Like, 
Yes, someone had to buy one because they're versus Clockwork, but the Coddle was so poor, and then no one else really wanted to do it. Yeah, exactly. Feels forced into it, and he could start transitioning into a core shaker and get some more slams like that. Honestly, it could be okay, but not really the route that we're going. Let's see initiation on the hustle, though. Good damage to the back line this time. Both comes in. Coddle, ulti, another slam. They need to get some of these kills, though. Hustler goes down first. Drew getting stunned up. Still with the Aegis. Cuckoo goes down next. A one for one. White Mon now going to be in trouble. The Fusal Blade working wonders for this Gyrocopter. Raven and Carl. What can they do? Phoenix Burn. Zephyr's coming from behind. XY. He's going to dive this tower. Spear Siphon stacking up. BKB going to help out Carl a little bit, but not against all that physical from the Prophet. She's got the stick. No mana for the Yule, but Raven giving her a lot of charges. Maybe the Kunkka, if they could find this kill, that would be huge. Gyrocopter coming back in. Remember, it's an Aegis. No lifesteal. Shaker goes down. Raven pulled back. They get in front of him. Dyer's bottom tower. Man, that right there. Kunkka versus Bristleback. The fact that you can pull him back to position in front of him so easily. Yeah. That's almost as good as a Silver Edge right there. Yeah, in some ways. It's like, I mean, he can still spin, but when you're surrounded by like three other heroes, then yeah. And there's well, one clear escape route to then just cut off. Yep. Yeah, pretty brutal. Uh, now you can just X back as well, right? Get himself some items, as you were lamenting about before. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. They have hook shot, right? Game three. Oh, did we forget odds? It's been non-stop battling. Probably. Carl's dead. Yeah. Just what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Here. Five point four geek fam. One point one three reality rift for Matt. Five point four sounds low. Let's see. Uh, Dota Plus concurs ninety six percent. Those odds will probably jump pretty soon here. I I am having trouble seeing a way out. For these. these dunks have been a tier. And it's just not enough. Hustle down bottom and try to jump in on the Cuckoo. Blade Mail doing some work. Cuckoo might still live though. Is Shaker nearby? Could they turn possibly? Nope, they're just gonna run. A little sad two on one. Hustle. Yeah. Guess they don't really know if he's rotating in or not, but he's, he's gaining. Wait, he's still going, dude. He is not scared. And maybe we should be. Now Coddle's here. They did go Carl up top. We're watching the real battle. Hustler looking for this kill on the Cuckoo. Drain. One more. You can only oh knock my him God. so far. Hustler versus four. This guy is crazy. A man goes. Oh, he's going to keep it going. <laughs> oh. I'll call that space. Well, that was pretty hilarious. Actually, four heroes. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. But yeah, while well, they, they killed Carol, eh? They did. I throw. Yeah. But <laughs> I just see it with like the set. But why? I kind of picture like Cindy Lou Who and the Grinch of Soul Christmas and just like, but why? <laughs> why throw? Oh, uh, Raven. You who? He actually survives the initial onslaught. Uh, Ghosty. Out comes the rocket. He's an Ignis. Still feeling pretty confident. Does have the BKB, no Aegis. Okay, BKB, BXL, trying to make it out. Hook shot from up front. From downtown, it's the hey. clockwork. Bye bye to the K-Man. In college, they called him Rattle Trap. Rack it up. R R ready to siege. Still yet to break the high ground. Your threes remaining. 
no buyback on the bristle. They have a repair kit. A couple of one-sided games to kick things off in this series there, guys. Hey, we're going to have a game three decider. Uh, it certainly looks that way. Uh, a 3%. See, this is where I, I would love to hear the, or the Dota Plus explanation as to why 3%. <laughs> It would be so good. It would have to describe exactly what's necessary. And you could do that kind of like pseudo Stephen Hawking type voice where it's super robotic and like kind of funny because it's so not the way humans talk, you know? Yeah. The Microsoft Sam. Exactly. Yeah. You know, Stephen Hawking could have upgraded that voice. They had way better technology, but he always kept it because it had that iconic sound. Yeah, because it sounded like him. It would be like changing yeah. your own it voice. Felt like it was his voice. Yeah. yeah. Hustler. Again. Going full brave mode. Just kind of breaking up the smoke, playing front line. I think he's having the most fun out of anyone in this game. Yeah, he's just running at him. This is a dream clockwork game. He's having a field day. Hook shot into the coddle. He's just dead. Look at that. Fall down, go. follow up. Oh, nice, fight. nice alt pugna. And they're <laughs> going to completely wrap around on Geek Fam. Cuckoo and Carl both to die up top, now down bottom. That's going to be Zephyr. And across the way, Raven's the only one left. All right, guys, let, let it go. I, I think Geek Fam could probably. <laughs> Good little tap tap. Speaking to the wrestling fans out there, you know, maybe. Uh... Yeah, I mean, they still have all lanes of barracks, but. Would you say they are pinned and unable to kick out? Yeah, there. This is this is worse than that. This is like where they're doing a stunt and the guy slips and falls head first off the rafters instead of butt first or whatever. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structure. I will say it will be very exciting to be at the announcer's table compared to like you know, cat get lands is pretty cool, but having the the actual skip right there that that's that right next mean. to the ring. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. It's like putting the caster's table in Dota. That would be awesome. That'll be the future. That's, that's, that's VR, dude. Well, Dota 3, exactly. We're going to be VR in our cast, just flying that, around the map like Superman. I think kind of terrifying. Wait, that okay, that actually sounds hype as hell. How is that not a thing yet? Isn't that completely possible? Well, I think they, they uh, had to up the game with Half-Life Alex. But you think that'll be the Dota 3 launch? That is an interesting question. Like, what? What will be the catalyst for Dota 3? How far into the future do you have to go for Dota 2 to be so outdated that it's not just updates to Dota 2, but it's actually a Dota 3? Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, the question to me is why can't I opposite as VR right now and like fly around the map and, and cast team fights? That'd be insane. I guess I just have so much less info that it wouldn't be as fun. But I'm might, sure it'd be fun for like you or Owen. It might be possible. Like team fight view or something? That would be the true I, battle view. I don't know. P Ping Buka. That's Okay, yeah, that's that's right. They can hook us up. Devil damage! All right, well, they got a tier three tower. This is yeehaw. You know, I never got to try the Roche, the VR Ro Roche at Midas mode. That was a regret. Are scanning. You know, you're right. I didn't do How did we I was... That was stupid. I can't probably believe I didn't tried do that it. out. Yeah, I just never even I'll thought scan. to. I guess because it was always being used by fans. Yeah, I was busy focused on other shit every time it was <laughs> trying to stop an event from collapsing in upon itself like a black hole. Much like Geek Fam are attempting. Keep their hopes alive yeah. here. 98% now. We're going up. Hook shot from downtown. It's Hustla. Verse 2. He's just making space for Roche. Dude, I just got so confused. I was like, how did he see it? I was like, oh, yeah, they have a mango tree. <laughs> oh, there it is. Rush is actually somewhat precarious. Yeah, they don't kill it that fast, and, and Geek Fam is going to jump in. They have ghosts in 10 seconds. Probably in trouble. Rocket chases him down. Drew does some pretty big damage. Connects onto White Man. Mon also. Gyro, he keeps just walking and he's here on the back of the spider legs. BKB from Carol. He says, I'm out. See you later, boys. Now Zephyr, he's going to try to get out oh soon. Rocket going to find him. And. Raven, he's not going to be able to TP. He'll get interrupted. He does have the Lotus Orb. A little bit harder to chase down. But uh, don't worry, they got Kunkka. 
I gyro without any exaggeration just like solo killed. Uh, the pun that he just assisted almost to the death on, and then he just completely solo killed the Coddle and the Earth Chick. Like he just walked at them and they just died. I, th I think it's time to let it go, guys. Three, I think so too. Wipe it off. How did that not hit? Go to a fresh game three. Hot hustler. The devil to pay. Rack it on. They're playing to the at least lose some racks, maybe, you know. What? Surprisingly, they actually still have them all. And they yeah. can be very annoying with constant decreps. And coddle and earth shaker. This is this is a good high ground defense team. But again, it's a shame that they don't really have anything to be defending for. No, no Spectre, no Medusa, Terrorblade, like Rapier, PA, like there's just nothing. There, there's nothing in the pipeline that they can hold out. I mean, Gyro is the net worth of their two highest combined. Yes. Two is dead. Uh, White Mon drops an okay ult. And they won't. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. Man, on the next strategic level right now or something. They don't. Geek fam's uh, trying to get into their head. <laughs> I'm not sure that it's working. RR. Seemingly looking more confident by the minute. The creeps are taking top. No one's even hitting them. And possibly the final fight will jump in onto Kunkka, but BKB is there. Ghosties from KYXY. Zephyr had his moment. He echo slams and he's like, ah, GG, whatever. I don't know. Team's still fighting. I'm calling it, boys. That'll be the game. And although it took 35 minutes,